Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you the two modes you have for recording using the Rode Wireless GoTo microphone. Let's get into it. So here we have the transmitters and the receiver. Let's switch them all on. To switch modes, hold down the two buttons under the receiver. This will change it to the merged or mono mode. When you can see just one signal bar, it's in the mono or merged mode. This means you will hear the same sound from both mics in the left channel and the right channel. To switch to stereo mode or split mode as it's sometimes called, hold the two buttons under the receiver again. When you see two signal bars with the numbers one and two next to them, you're now in split audio mode. This means that the sound from one mic will go into the left channel and the sound from the other mic will go into the right channel. To figure out which mic is recording into which channel, speak closely into one of the mics directly Whichever looks like it has the higher level on the bar is the channel that microphone is recording into. Notice as I speak, there are two bars and both are moving at different rates. Now let me run through the reasons why you might choose one mode over the other. For the merged or mono mode, you might choose to use this mode if you don't plan on doing much editing on the audio after recording. Next, it would make sense to use the mono mode if you're using just one transmitter to record rather than both in order to avoid hearing the audio from just one channel rather than both. And third, if you're using the microphone whilst live streaming, it would sound more natural and centered than recording on two channels. And here's why you might choose to record in stereo or split mode. First, if you plan on doing editing on the different channels of audio at the end of the recording, for example, by adding different EQ to different channels or increasing or decreasing the volume of one channel to match the other, in the case where one channel was quieter than the other, for example, on a podcast. The second reason could be when using the Rode Wireless Go 2 as a stereo pair, for example, when recording live music, and you want to be able to split the different channels after recording and have a stereo file output. Well, what's the verdict? What version should you use? For most basic use cases, you can keep it in the merged or mono mode. The Rode Wireless Go 2 also has onboard recording as one of its features, which you can enable. Now, if you enable this, even if you record in mono or merge mode in future, and if you decide retrospectively that you still wanted stereo, you can plug each of the transmitters to your computer and then get the individual files that way. To do this, though, you have to make sure that onboard recording has been set up. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to create a video explaining how to do this.